Welcome to Bull News, our topic today is From the aircraft catastrophe to the FBI probe into confidential documents, Biden's week was filled with controversy. A number of federal investigations into President Biden's handling of crucial government documents have been opened as a result of the discovery of classified documents from his time as vice president, the suspension of domestic flights due to an FAA system failure, the administration's recommendation to ban gas stoves, and more. Here are some of the 80-year-old president's most recent difficulties. Three batches of sensitive documents belonging to Biden were found, as the White House Counsel's Office acknowledged last week, one at his Wilmington, Delaware residence and two at the Penn Biden Center, a think tank he founded in Washington, D. C. The first set of records were made public on Monday, and the news described how Biden's attorneys had obtained them from the Penn Biden Center days before the election. The discovery of a second group of top secret documents in Biden's Wilmington, Delaware, residents made headlines on Wednesday. In emails, Biden's son Hunter, who is being investigated by the federal government for tax fraud, claimed to be the owner of the Wilmington home where more secret records from Joe Biden's time as vice president during the Obama administration were found. Another group of documents were found at the Wilmington home, according to the president's special counsel. Five pages of classified documents were discovered at Biden's home on Thursday, according to a statement from Richard Sauber, the president's special counsel. This brings the total number of classified materials taken from Biden's residence to six. The paper that the president's personal lawyer discovered on Wednesday will be delivered to the Justice Department because Sauber has a security clearance, the company said in a statement on Saturday. Five more pages, for a total of six pages, with classification markings were found in the material with it when I was transferring it to the DOJ officers who were with me. They were promptly taken in by the DOJ representatives who were with me. Biden asserts that he is unaware of the contents of the documents because his attorneys told him not to inquire. The White House claims that the National Archives received the records. When these documents were left at the two places and if there are any more that can be found are both unknown. On Thursday, Attorney General Merrick Garland made public the beginning of a special prosecutor's inquiry into the president's secret documents. The acquisition of a second tranche of documents revealed the Justice Department's investigation, which was raised to a special prosecutor. Robert Herr, a former U.S. attorney, was selected by Garland to lead the inquiry. Former chief of Hispanic advertising for former President Trump and founder of Visto Media John Carlos Sopo claimed that Biden was unable to take advantage of GOP setbacks in prior weeks. President Biden is having a difficult start to the new year, Sopo told Fox News Digital. He may be losing any momentum the GOP's poor midterm results and the drawn-out speaker contest may have given him. In view of his predicted 2024 announcement, the timing of the classified documents incident is particularly unfavorable for him because it neutralizes one of his main lines of attack against former President Trump. The newly elected House Republican majority works together to advance agenda. The Republican majority enacted a bill Monday to cut down $72 billion in money to hire tens of thousands of IRS staff over the next decade. The White House declared on Monday that it will oppose the plan because it would give the upper class more opportunity to evade taxes. The White House issued a statement stating that far from aiding middle class families or small companies, H. R. 23 protects affluent tax cheats at the expense of honest, middle class taxpayers. House Republicans are making clear that their top priority in terms of the economy is to allow the wealthy and multi-billion dollar corporations to skip out on their taxes, while making life harder for regular, middle-class families that pay the taxes they owe, according to their first piece of economic legislation of the new Congress. The White House stated that it adamantly opposes the House's upcoming vote on a tax measure that would abolish the IRS and repeal the federal income tax. According to Andrew Bates, the Deputy Press Secretary for the White House, President Biden firmly opposes House Republicans' plans to impose an unprecedented tax increase on middle-class families in exchange for yet more tax aid for the wealthiest and big companies. Tuesday saw the passage of a measure by House Republicans creating a new judiciary panel to regulate how the executive branch conducts inquiries and gathers data on Americans. Rep. Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, who will also serve as the Judiciary Committee's chair at large will serve as the chairman of the Select Subcommittee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government. The Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act, 
which mandates rapid medical assistance for infants who are born alive following a botched abortion, was approved by the House Republicans on Wednesday. The law was condemned by Democrats for interfering with women's health care. Vice President Kamala Harris tweeted on the law, House Republicans passed an outrageous bill today that would further imperil the right to reproductive health care in our country. Republican lawmakers are trying to regulate women's bodies yet again. Bipartisan action is taken by the House to monitor handling of China. Bipartisan support helped the House pass a significant bill this week that might undermine the Biden administration's foreign policy goals. By a vote of 365 to 65, the House established a special committee to look into the strategic rivalry between the United States and China. The committee will look at how the United States can compete with China's expanding economic dominance and stop the communist nation's abuses of human rights. Rep. Jim McGovern, a Democrat from Massachusetts, declared, while I do have issues here after reading the resolution itself, I will be voting yes. The Democratic Party has taken the lead in implementing steps to monitor China's compliance with international standards for human rights and the rule of law, and we will do so here. Yet another airline mishap. After its notice to air mission system, which distributes important instructions to all pilots, collapsed on Wednesday morning, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, halted takeoffs at airports worldwide for a period of time. The system was eventually fixed by the government, but only after thousands of flights had been cancelled or delayed. The organization is managed by Pete Buttigieg's Department of Transportation and has a $23.5 billion budget. The problem started a few weeks after Southwest Airlines had to postpone more than 15,000 flights over the holiday season due to internal problems and bad winter weather, leaving many passengers stranded without their things. A failed attempt to outlaw gas ranges. A ban on gas stoves is conceivable, and every option is on the table, according to Richard Trunka Jr., chair of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, and the late Richard Trunka's labor union ally. But amid a storm of criticism, Trunka changed his mind. Gas stove emissions and the Consumer Product Safety Commission have received a lot of attention recently, according to Trunka. According to research, gas stove emissions can be dangerous, thus the CPSC is searching for solutions to lessen the risks to indoor air quality. To be clear, though, neither I nor the CPSC are seeking to outlaw gas stoves.